All right, bring it on, Cerberus. I ain't afraid of you. I don't think so, Rata. Here we go. It's time for the dragon pickaxe hunt to begin. dangerous place to be on a hardcore Iron Man. Many great rewards lie beyond this trench, but beyond those rewards lie even greater dangers. Dangers so great, it turns many hardcore Iron Men away from this barren land. But not me. My name is Poison Potion, or PP for short, and through a set number of tasks and stages I'm unrestricting the hardcore Iron Man game mode as much as I can, accomplishing goals and acquiring items that no hardcore has ever obtained. As I progress further into this account, more and more content becomes unlocked, until the only restriction left is that I can't die. After the monumental grind that was the Infernal Cape, it is now time to go for the Infernal Axe, as I still need to finish that one step that I have for the Master Clue that's been in my bank for a while now. Of course, this means going to Cerberus. With my new Inferno Cape, I should be able to get a max hit, and I also ended up getting that Blessed Sarah Sword from Sarah Doman, as I was trying to go for an ACB or an SGS for a little while back in Episode 10. This could be a long grind, though, as the Smoldering Stone is a 1 in 5, 12 drop, so if I go double the drop rate, it could very well be over a 1,000 kills at Serb, which is a dangerous boss. Let's see how it goes. All right, bring it on, Cerberus. I ain't afraid of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can be scary. You can be very scary. No, just kill it. Kill it. Kill it first. Kill it first. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. No way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> what? 10KC Primordial Crystal. <laughs> well, um, I guess let's, uh, let's make these. Yep, I can. <laughs> there they are, primordial boots. Oh, it looks so good, too. Okay, so we had a 56 with the D boots. What? You're kidding. Two max hits off of one strength bonus. This looks like a two kill trip. Yes. There we go. Keymaster teleports. I do not have Hosta. I don't, I can't believe it. I got sm. get me out of here. I got smoldering stone. I, well, you guys said either I get spooned at Serb or I die at Serb and we get spooned. So the account continues. You need level 61 wood cutting and level 85 fire making to make an infernal axe. Okay. Oh, we're only 77 fire making. Winter Todd mass tomorrow. And we're going to get the 85 fire making and finish off this master clue step. And there's level 80, five more to go. How many hard clues is that? 69 hard caskets done. There we have it. That is 85 fire making. And that is the last level that we need to make the infernal axe. And a dragon axe combined to make the infernal axe. It's time to finish this master step. Yes. It's been a long time, but there's another master clue casket Finished. Master clue number 11. Wines of Zami. Nice. All right, here we go. Ancient Stole. What I'm really looking for here is a miter or a boater because I still need those for elite steps. Those are the only two things I need left. And also the Bando's Cloak. Bando's Cloak is huge. Amulet of Power. Come on, man. Give me one of those uniques. They're so common. Any? No. Shoot. Now the big boy. Hard caskets. 71 of them. No master clues yet. An ancient page. We've already finished this book. Cool clue, though. Yes! 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 Zami full helm. Last item we needed from, from hard clues. Hard clues done. That's another master step that we will never have to drop now. Last item is the Bando's cloak from mediums. 
There it is. Fantastic. Here, have this. Give me a casket. Come on. Yes. Three, two, one. 449k with two magic seeds, 79 lines of Zami, 100 nature runes. I think that was more than anybody else guessed. Back to the hard clues. 40 left to go. I'm really hoping we can get to 300 because if we do, we get the special emote that you unlock. 98, 99, and some ancient dehyde chaps. 300. As a reward for completing over 300 hard clue scrolls, you have now unlocked the Yuri Transform emote. A lot of hard work was put into those hard clues, and here's the payoff. Very nice. Now time for the elites. First clue master is going to be almost a guarantee. No, but we got ranger gloves. I don't know what these are good for. I don't think these are better than Barrows. Yeah, Barrows is still better, so these things are pretty useless, but I will take it. That's cool. There we go. That was the craziest dry streak ever. You are joking. Why? Why would you do this to me? Well, I guess we have found our next big grind. This grind is no small feat. Armadil has a lot of defense, as well as some decent KO potential. Not only this, but getting KC there is very difficult, and it's going to be best for me to just get ecumenical keys from the Wilderness God Wars dungeon, which means I'm going to be there quite a bit. On top of that, you always are going to be needing chins if you're doing the solo method, so I'll be having to catch either black or red chins, depending on how much I can catch an hour. The drop rate for the Armadil Helmet is 1 in 381, so I could be here for a long time. So first things first, I have to get the Prayer Rigor. This increases my range accuracy and my range damage, but the only problem with this is... It's from Raids 1, and we all know that I can't go to Raids 1 until I get the Dragon Pickaxe. So that's what I plan to do. I'm starting off by going to Zolra to get some more scales, as I will be needing them. I'm going to try and go for a Wilderness Weapon for a short time, and then also intermittently going to Shamans for a Dragon Warhammer, as I will potentially be using that Dragon Warhammer on some of the Wildy Bosses. Let's go. Yes! There we go. Another Tan's Fang. Zero. I just tick eight that. And I just realized now as we're about to go for the next kill, but that's 500 KC at Zolra. All right, this is it. Call me crazy, but I'm going to try and go for a wilderness weapon. This is the gear setup right now. So let's get out there and try and get extremely lucky. I got to skull up before I go, though. <sighs> I don't think so, Rata. Oh my gosh. Well, this is a good start. After testing out the new rev caves for a while, I decided it was best to not go for the wilderness weapon at this time because it would just be a monumental grind and doing it before rigor would be even worse. So I set my sights on obtaining a dragon warhammer. I started the KC off here at around 2000. Hopefully I don't go too dry. If I got a 15 mil statuette and just see my cash stack double, that'd be insane. What is it? There they are. There it is. Now there's just two drops left on the Shaman's drop table. That was Adam and Javelin's. We went a little more than... I think we almost went three times the drop rate on that. So now it's just the Curve Bone and the Dragon Warhammer remaining. Sa mods uh, Ogi, Ogni, Agni. Thank you for the follow. I saw red on the floor, got really excited. That was a... Dr I just got a Dragon Spear and a Longbone in the same drop. And there we go, 98 magic. Oh, that was an extra three. I think that's PB. P 
PB112. Never seen a 113 and I never fucking will. No. No. Well, there it is. Everything's been completed. Rare drop table. Regular drop table. It's all done except for the Warhammer now. And there is... 5,000 kills. 30 hard caskets. Don't hit me. Ah, damn it. That was it. That was fucking it. Whoo! Good telly. And the blowpipe has been filled. Would have rather preferred it in a matter of you unlocking the whole map instead of three areas. <gasps> yes! 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 Pick it up! Pick it up! Nobody's trolling me. I don't. It, it's it. Dragon Warhammer. Dragon Warhammer. It's got. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Yes! What's the KC, my good friend? The KC is 6,362 KC. We didn't go 20k dry. We're not going to have to spend a month here. It is over. And the very first thing we spec with the Dragon Warhammer is a Sand Crab. Oh, the 60. <laughs> One hit. All right, so I'm going to put this Dragon Warhammer to use right away. We're going to be going up to Chaos Elemental and using it on that, hopefully hitting, and then going to the Blowpipe for a quicker kill. Start grinding away for that Dragon Pickaxe. Where is Sea Engineer? Oh, boss, he's on vacation. Vacation? What do you mean? Yeah, that new Trailblazers. I hear he's having a blast. So I won't have to worry about him if I go for the Dragon Pickaxe? No, of course not. Go ahead. Well, all right. Tell him Hardcore PP2 says thanks. Yeah, sure thing. Hardcore PP2. That name sounds so familiar. Oh well. And the first kill. Some rune arrows. I don't even want that. I gotta admit, even with the Dragon Warhammer, this is still pretty bad. I'm going to try and get a couple of kills at Vedion and see if that goes any better. First ready on kill, and we get 100 magic logs. Oh, that was nearly impossible. Mahogany Logs, that's pretty good, and we have finished the Elite Wilderness Diaries, which is what I came here to do, although I think I'm going to stick around and do a few more kills. This seems like it might be the best boss to kill, honestly. It's the easiest safe spot, and it's just not that bad. The Rune Pickaxe. The only problem that I'm having right now is that I'm not able to tag him from far enough away, so I'm going to go and get a longbow, just something I can hit him from a very far distance. There's another kill. Oh, that was tagged. 
You're joking, man. Oh my. Well, I think I might be done for tonight. Well, it has been quite a long time, but I think it finally is time to start up some Wildy Slayer again, as uh, being on task for some of these bosses is going to be helpful. So, Crystalia, what do you got for me? 53 ends. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this again, shall we? Spiritual creatures. There's another Learn's Key. Un Are you serious? Two back-to-backs in one task. Five Learn's Keys. And there is the task finished. 71 Slayer tasks done. Let's get the next one. Next task is 81 Spite. Oh. Oh, this might be... Yeah. I might want to do Venonatus now. Well, here we go once again. I've got 81 spiders I can kill in Wilderness. I'll be trying to do a lot of them at Venonatus. Hopefully we get lucky on the dragon pick. And I don't have to spend too long there. If I do, then I do. But since I have the Dragon Warhammer, I really want to get to raids. So, here we go. Alright, this should be KC number two. And a Laren's Key for the first drop. I'll take that. Another kill. Yes, that is exactly the drop I was looking for, too. One of the best drops from this boss is 500 red spider's eggs. It's so good. All right. Well, that trip ended because I did end up getting... I did end up accidentally leaving my prayer down, and uh, also I was out of ranging potions. But we got quite a few kills that trip. That was... That was six kills. So, getting better. Nice. Another Laren's Key. Very nice. Okay, I got it. Oh, sweet. Onyx Bull Tips. Cool. That's really good. I thought I didn't get it off. I was like, you're joking, right? Yes, yes, that is the best drop. Besides the Dragon Pickaxe, of course. Alright, so we're just under that 50 KC cusp, and I am going to be starting my stream soon, so I don't want to get over that 50 KC mark and then have a good deal of time where people can realize that I am at Venonatus. So I will be getting another spider task after this, and then when I have the time, I will be going hard at it, and hopefully being able to get the dragon pickaxe before too many people notice that I am going for the D-pick. And there's another Lurens Key. This cave is uh, shaping up to be pretty good. Yes, there it is. 76 more spiders. That's 76 more Venonatus kills. No way, bro. Damn, he was quick. I think I'm going to try out Callisto for a little bit, considering Venonatus is just so packed right now. Callisto is a little bit dangerous because I have to lure him and I have to stay in multi for quite a long time, but I do have the positive of nowhere near as many PKers or other people trying to kill the boss. And... Oh, I actually got the drop. Here we go, another kill, and some coins. You know, the kills here, even if you don't use piety, they're still pretty fast. Venonatus is still a little bit faster, but overall, since I never get interrupted because nobody else is doing this boss, it ends up being better here. Plus, Callisto drops an actual useful ring in the treasonous ring. Or the tyrannical ring, rather. 
Yes. No. Yes. I can't. Oh. <laughs> yes. I'm done. Hey, Casey, what the? No. <laughs> yes. No way. Oh, I'm out of here. We can do raids. We can do raids. Yes. I'm so excited.